All right, hello everybody, it's Chef Joe today, and in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day, we're going to make some Irish potato pancakes. First, here's a list of our ingredients. We got our potatoes, some butter or flour, milk, some eggs, salt, pepper, sour cream, and a little bit of scallions. Okay, step one, we are going to start by taking uh, half of our two pounds, which will probably be about four to five potatoes, and we're going to large dice them. So start by taking, cutting the potato in half, and then going about every inch in between. And uh, just throw these in a bowl here once you finish them. Once the potatoes are cut, we add them to our saucepan here, and cover them about one inch full of cold water. And then we turn the burner on high until those get up to a nice boil where you can stick a fork through. While we wait for those potatoes to come to a boil, our next step would be to grate the remainder of our potatoes. Um, you're going to want to grate them on the largest setting possible so they're not too mushy uh, when they come out. Um, so I'm just going to run these through here. should grate your potatoes into a colander, so in case they are a little moist, uh, the water will be able to drain out. So we're still waiting for our potatoes to boil. Just gives us a chance to get a couple more things done. Uh, the scallions are gonna go on as a garnish. So just while we have the free time, we're just gonna chop these up real small like this. And uh, depending on how many potato pancakes you're making, that should be about enough. So next we're going to make our binding mixture. We're going to take one egg, about one tablespoon of flour, shake in a little teaspoon of salt and pepper to your, to your own liking or feel free to follow the recipe that will be provided. So once you got everything in there, we're just going to whisk it up nice so it gets nice and smooth. You don't want it too chunky. Once your potatoes reach a boiling point to you can easily put your fork through your potato, it's time to drain. So you just come over to your sink, get a nice mesh strainer, really shake it out. You want to get all that water out of there so it doesn't bleed into your pancakes. Now we add about a quarter cup of milk. And mash them. If you like your potatoes a little more chunky, um, feel free to stop with the texture you like. I prefer mine a little softer. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more milk to get the texture I want. Yeah, that looks good. There you go. See how it's nice and creamy there? That's what I like to go for when I make a mashed potatoes. So now, we're gonna add our, our grated potatoes to this mixture here. And the rest of the milk. Now we form the mix that will be our potato pancake. All right, we're just gonna add that egg and flour mixture to those potatoes that we just mixed up just to get a little extra binding, yeah. So we're at the point where we're ready to put our potato pancake mix into our pan. I already have my pan preheated here with about a tablespoon of butter. Feel free to use your own fat substitute, olive oil, canola oil, whatever you cook with at home. Um, here I have a quarter cup scoop, which is about four tablespoons. If you don't have something like this at home, we're gonna stuff the potato in there, pop it into our hand, and then place it in the pan and flatten it out there. So, depending on your mix, you should get about five to six of these. Just wanna give them a little bit of room in between. I'll stick when it's time to flip them. Uh, 
you might notice that there's a little bit of green in there now. I added some scallion just for a little bit of color once they're done. Fill out After about six minutes, you want to flip them to the other side. As you can see, I've already done that here. I got one left just to show you some technique. You want it nice little golden brown on each side so they stay together. All right, once we're all done and they're all nice and golden brown, we're just gonna bring them to our plate here to garnish. And I added a little bit of scallion to my sour cream here, just again for a little bit of flavor. We're just gonna use finger here to get the dollop on each one. And for a little bit of pizzazz, throw some scallions on there. For All color. right, so now we get to try and see how good they turned out. I'm going to make sure I grab some sour cream. Dip there. Excellent. Nice and crispy. Got that good onion taste from the scallion. Now I'm ready to celebrate St. Patty's Day. All right, everybody. Thanks for cooking with me. I miss all of you. Chef Joe here at uh, North Campus. See you later.